I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by today's title, I am bringing you guys five powders that I feel you need this summer that will keep your face matte and oily free, especially if you have oily skin. So if you guys want to know more, let's go. Now you guys know I have oily skin. I feel like I end up saying that in every single video that I upload on YouTube, but I have oily skin. I also have sensitive skin, but that's not the focus of today's video. So I have spent a lot of time trying to figure out the right balance for my face so that I do not over mattify my face because if you over mattify your face if you feel like you know you use a matte uh, primer a matte uh, powder a matte setting spray and you have oily skin and you still feel like you're getting way too oily throughout the day you might be using too many mattifying products on your face now you are producing more oil because your skin is drying out right your skin is trying to compensate for um, what you have stripped away because you have too much uh, mattifying products on your face. So I've told you guys, I've found the balance for me at least is using a more natural finish uh, foundation and concealer. And then, you know, I, that's why I can get away with baking, stuff like that. And then a more, you know, uh, mattifying setting spray, stuff like that. But these powders right here, for the most part, most of them are giving like right out of the tube, the little bottle, the little container. It's a mattifying type of powder, right? So the first one, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. This is in the shade Banana. Now this one, y'all know how people complain that the um, original Fenty foundation is way too mattifying? If you have used that foundation and then you went ahead and used this powder on top of that, Baby, your face was giving Spongebob when he was in Sandy's treehouse. You know, he needed water. Water would be nice. That's why it felt like that, because you had two very, very, very mattifying products on your face. Your skin was fighting for its life. This is a matte powder, okay? Now, I will use it sometimes. Again, it depends on the other products that I have on my face, but in the summer, I will use it to set my T-zone because that is where I get oily because I know it is not going anywhere. The only thing with this is, like I said, with the other things that you use with uh, primer, setting spray, stuff like that, if you are not careful, it can very much so get to the point where it, it feels like it is drying out your face. So you just gotta be careful with this, find the right balance for you. But if you wanna make sure like your face does not go anywhere, none of that, baby, this powder right here, and this color, this banana shade, now speaking of banana shade, because you know, I feel like before, especially for my skin tone, it was, you know, get a yellow powder, like that's better for your skin tone than using, you know, white, translucent, it'll even ashy type of cast. And you guys saw, I did a video a couple weeks ago and y'all were saying that the yellow side was giving a little ash, mind you that yellow side was the Fenty powder, it was giving a little ashy compared to the other shade of powder that I used. Right now, all the rage is a pink powder. I am waiting on the Danessa pink powder, so I will definitely keep you guys updated on that one. But right now, everyone's saying a pink powder is the best thing since sliced bread. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Cherry Blossom. I have the same powder in this shade, Cinnamon Something, but that's more of a skin tone type powder. Um, this pink one, this pink shade, everyone is saying is the best. It is what I have on my face in today's video. Um, but the formula of the Huda powder, does Huda have oily skin? I don't know. Does, I feel like she does. I feel like Huda has oily skin because Huda's uh, products, for the most part, tend to give, you know, pretty good oil control, a little more on the mattifying type powders. This is a mattifying powder to me. And it's it's one of those, like, once it's set, it sets your face. Um, again, it all depends on how you mix it out with other things on your face. But I feel like compared to Fenty, with this one, you know, if you get a little carried away with how you use it, you still might not end up, you know, overproducing oil because you have over mattified your face, right? Like Fenty, I'm baby. I think I started with that one because that is the maddest of powders that I have in my collection. I did just... Um, declutter not too long ago 
I, this one's, it's, it's almost there. It's almost there with Fenty, but I feel like you get a little more leeway with this one to play on, on your face with this one, to mix this with other formulas for the other products that you use on your face. But if you are looking for a powder that is going to mattify your face, keep you looking fresh, Throughout the day this summer, definitely consider this Huda Easy Bake Powder and you know the, this pink shade. I'm not gonna lie, it's been doing what it has to do ever since I started using it. And now everyone is coming out with the pink shade. One Size Beauty, Danessa Myricks. There was an, uh, Givenchy is another powder that everyone's been talking about. So look into it. Now this powder is a little newer to me. I did just recently start using this. It is from Ami Cole. It is their Skin Melts Loose Powder. Yes in the shade deep medium. I would definitely say this is a powder that um, some powders out there, I talk about that with the Dior powder, kind of melts your face together. Like it just melts everything together so it's not as harsh. You know, if you're not that great with blending, it does a little bit of it for you. Um, but I've also found that my face stays more matte throughout the day. I wouldn't say I get the same type of matteness that Huda and Fenty give from this one, but I do feel like this is a powder that is going to keep your face intact throughout the entire day. Um, and I actually, it stood out to me so much that I noticed it when I was wearing this one. I was like, wait a minute, my face looks really, really matte right now. Okay, all right. Um, I think you guys noticed that too in the video where I did like a whole face from this brand. Um, but this is, I feel more um, a lighter, powder, is this considered a yellow? I feel like it's giving beige yellow powder to me. It looks really nice on the under eye, and like I said, keeps your face together throughout the day. So definitely consider checking this out, you know, black on brand. Okay, this is an oldie, but a goodie, MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is in the shade NW45. Y'all know I like to use a pressed powder before I bake, just to like really, you know, push, pack that in there where I just applied concealer. The MAC Studio Fix Powder, baby, ain't gonna crease on your face. Oil wear, huh? Right, so this alone is going to set your face uh, for the day, make sure nothing gets through, and then if you use anything on top of this, you'll be set throughout the day. Don't go overboard, you know, don't go using this and then using Fenty. But if you find that right balance, it's just the, the, the other ones, like, you know, sometimes I might uh, emphasize formula or I might emphasize the color of the powder. This one, I would definitely say is more so the formula of this one, just gives seamless on the face in appearance and also the wear of it is going to keep your face together throughout the day. I recommend, you know, a nice little pressed powder. I did also like the um, Pat McGrath powder, but it fell and shattered and I just haven't replaced it yet. But that is another one that I would recommend. But for pressed powders, you know, sometimes you can't go wrong with the oldies. And the last powder that I have, another black owned brand, Danessa Myricks, what is this called? Evolution? Yes, the Evo, come on. The Evolution powder, another more yellowy powder. This, a little more fine of a powder. I still use it to bake, yes, but it gives the, you know, one you might just wanna kinda dust on or, you know, press in like it's a pressed powder. I still bake with it, but I don't know, that's just the vibe that it gives me. But again, um, as far as making sure it controls your oil throughout the day, I would say the same like this, the Ami, the, yeah, those two, kind of, the MAC ones. Like I said, Fenty, the Huda, more so like right out of the two. But these, you know, a little more leeway, a little more, You know, but these, you get a little more leeway, a little more finer of powders. So you have, um, so you can balance it out a little more on your face, right? Like this one, you might be able to get away with like this powder, a matte setting spray and a matte primer, right? And it'll, again, set your entire face so your face will look good for however many hours you need to wear makeup and you start, you won't start overproducing oil. And of course, the color, um, the, like the actual shade that this comes in, it, the pink powder, I am waiting on it, uh, works on my skin tone. So definitely recommend checking this one out as well. And yeah, y'all, those are the five powders I will be breaking out this summer uh, when the heat starts fighting back. 
Um, they are the powders I would recommend you check out if you are looking for things that are going to contain your oil in this weather. Maybe, you know, you have that type of weather year round. So, you know, you need like a good year round powder. Those are the ones I would recommend. Those are the ones I will be using. If you have any others that you would recommend, definitely leave them in the comments down below. And yeah, that is it for this video. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.